Hey everybody, Dread here. Guess what? Today, uh, yeah, today I show my my battle mech. It is ready, or I should say at least a very early version of it is ready to show. That's right. So it's in creative. I play in survival. I built it in creative just to make sure I could build such a thing. And uh, got some huge uh, uh, insight from uh, many mechs on the uh, Steam Workshop, which I took a look at in my Trials Part 1 and Part 2 videos. Which are, uh, yeah, up in that right corner sometime about right now. And uh, you can go there and check them out. So this one, um, I say this one. Because I have about two other mechs in mind that I'm going to build. But uh, this one is built off of uh, Moonbow's design. So Moonbow, thank you, sir, for your uh, inspiration after this one. Mostly the, uh, mostly the leg movement uh, is what I uh, borrowed from Mr. Moonbow's two mechs. From his uh, wood chopper, tree chopper, and mining mechs. Both of which are pretty dang gone awesome. So I borrowed some movement, but uh, built on some weapons. Like I said, my mechs are going to be for Ooh, Dread Island. So you check it out. I've got an automated turret on the left arm. And uh, yes, it does go and shoot on its own. I can turn it on and off. Move the arms a little bit to raise and lower it. Got double blades on the right. And on there, I've got it on a piston so it'll get a little bit of extension. I'm gonna hop in. Here we go. Get it out of the dock here and I'll show you a few things. So it's totally like yeah 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 if there was something there it would be shooting right now. Uh, there. So I'm just gonna have it in the scan position. So I'll leave it there for now. Kind of go through some of the buttons. First off, I'm going to turn the, the auto cannon off for now, just so it's just kind of in a still position. And then two and three give me a little bit of arch on that arm, just enough so I can, like, you know, if I'm on a slope, I can shoot uphill, or if I'm at the top of a hill, I could uh, shoot downwards at them. Right? Not too much there. Four and five kind of do the same thing on the blade arm. Give it some up and down movement. Six gives a little bit of uh, six and seven. Give it a little bit of uh, like a wrist movement, left and right. Eight does the fun stuff and nine does the fun stuff. So put it out there and you're like, no, no. There's a little bit in front of me. No, nope, no. Nope. A little bit to the side of me. Yeah. You know? Or just leave it there and turn your body. You know? Or if you do like the blades a little more in front of you, so you can like you know, kind of use your body as the direction for it. There you go. Alright. And then, well, what about that turret? Let's do some of that turret action, right? Alright, well, like I said, two and three. And raise and lower the arm to slope on it and if I press zero pretty much set it loose I'll be like well show us how good it is all right well I'm gonna show you how good it is of course we all know how the blades are with them they don't uh, like getting near them so it's more of a deterrent, but you know what? Maybe I turn them into something that they don't fear. Oh. One way or another, I guess it gets it done. Maybe I stepped on those guys. <laughs> I do have it limited on its movement, so it doesn't bang its leg. 
maybe on a future revision I might move that out a little further. Maybe even build a build it into like a Gatling. I like how the Gatlings move, it gives it a little more physical motion when they're spinning. But uh, this is my first mech. <laughs> give me a break. Come on, man. Give me a break, man. Again, inspired tremendously by Moonbow. The leg action is totally his. Uh, adjusted slightly on my own needs. And, uh, of course, the built-in kind of suspension glitches you got to take advantage of to do the left and right. And a little bit of stability here in the back there. Keep it from just kind of jarring kind of back and forth back and forth so to speak there are some warehouse pieces on this this is creative when i go to make it in survival i'm probably gonna have to do a warehouse run to be able to use some of these pieces if i want to build it exactly like this particularly these cool bends which i like like little muscles or bendy points i don't think i have any of those currently i know i don't have that piece i gotta find where that is I don't think I have a lot of this. This is not the typical pipe piece. This is the warehouse kind of yellow pipe. A little smaller. That's also from inside. So yeah, I got a few pieces I'm gonna have to scrounge up. In the warehouse run and all of these struts. Goodness gracious, that they call it feet. But uh, hey, goals, right? Survival goals. Uh, so there it is, folks. Just want to show you that. Drive around so you see a little more of that, you know, moving around motion. be like well how do you put that on a W or why don't you have that on a W deal W and S are back and forward right um, I guess I could what I need to do is build like one of those converters um, where it like physically moves the block and the sensors pick it up I probably could slip that in here somewhere but uh, like I said my first mech uh, again heavily inspired by Moonbow and uh, many of the other mechs that I uh, took a look at in my mech trials uh, one and two videos. Thanks everybody uh, who did not know that I was trialing their mechs for the uh, inspiration. Thanks for putting your material out in the Steam Workshop for all of us to check out. Will this mech go into the Steam Workshop? Uh, yes. Yes it will. I'm sure by the time this video goes live, this mech will be in the uh, Steam Workshop. So check it out if you'd like it. I'll have revisions to it and like I said I've got two more mech designs that I'm going to try out and they mostly revolve around just different leg motions that I'm really going to try and different weapons so that's it 